I thought filming a Craftably unboxing would be appropriate right now just because they are closing their doors. If you didn't know, Craftably announced in their Facebook group or maybe even somewhere else that they are closing down. And it's so unfortunate because I've seen Craftably since their inception. I see all their stuff on social media. I have a couple of their kits. I've worked on a couple of their kits and they're great quality. So I figured I would unbox this Craftably diamond painting that I got last fall fall or winter. Uh, I had it shipped to my friends and then my friend shipped it to me. So that's how I saved on shipping. And it is totally understandable that shipping from America to Canada is quite a lot. Um, because if you order from a small shop, you have to remember that larger companies have brokerage deals or shipping deals with larger, with the large uh, like UPS, USPS, FedEx, whatever, they they have deals with them in place where they can get discounted shipping, but the small shops aren't necessarily going to be able to hit like an X amount of shipping packages. So they're not going to be able to get good, as good as deals as a larger diamond painting companies. But that's also one of the main reasons why I haven't ordered from Craftably a lot, just because shipping to Canada is quite a quite expensive, but it is totally understandable. So today we're going to be unboxing this diamond painting called Black Hole in the Milky Way. It is by Tanya Shetseva and it measures 24 by 24 inches. So on the back of a Craftably kit, this is what you would receive. And here's Amy, one of the owners. And then here's a view at the uh, kit that you get inside, like the toolkit, and then some customer testimonials. And again, you're not going to be able to get this kit anymore because Craftably is closing. But I did want to do an unboxing to show you guys uh, this kit since it is vintage now or... <laughs> rare so let's see what's inside a craftably kit or what was inside a craftably kit I guess we should say so I really like this burlap sack I think it's super cute um inside of it you get your diamond painting kit so you can kind of I'm not going to take it out but you can see you get a purple tray purple wax um a squishy a multi-placer a pen and some tweezers and then in here, you would get washi tape, super cute, sunshiny washi tape, a, um, I was like memory keeper, a cover minder, which is basically a magnet to hold back your release paper. And then we have, oh, even more washi tape bonus. So two things of washi came in this package. I don't know if that's normal, but then also some pink wax. So that is a very thorough little toolkit, which is really nice. And then the diamond painting itself comes in plastic. So let's open this up and pull out whatever falls out. We have two packages of drills. So here we have a bigger thumbnail of the image. And this is a square diamond painting. And I have worked on a Craftably square, so can confirm that I really like the Craftably squares. I think they're really great quality. And if you do want a kit from Craftably, my my advice would be to join a D-Stash group on Facebook to get one. Because so, maybe someone is D-Stashing or selling their old Craftably kits that maybe they'll never work on. But let's see what else is included without me opening up the canvas fully. Yes, I figured this would be it. Okay, so we have, this is a 4.0 kit. Here are some of the features. You can pause if you want to read this. And then here are instructions on how to diamond paint. So if you're new to diamond painting, this will become really uh, helpful to you. And then we have a sticker sheet. Here's a logbook sticker that you can stick in your logbook, obviously, or wherever you track what you're doing. And then here are smaller stickers that are perforated so you can just peel them up and put them on your uh, plastic containers when you do kit up. So from looking at this, it looks like there's gonna be 62 colors and there's gonna be one, two, three ABs. And then here is just information about the diamond painting. And these stickers are really cute. Like you can peel up these stickers. <laughs> 
if you know what this is, comment down below what, like, obviously it stands for diamond painting, but if you know what DP is, comment down below. Don't say what it is, because it's inappropriate, but if you know, you know. And again, this is a poured blue canvas. I don't even know. Do you, diamond painting companies sell diamond paintings that are double-sided adhesive anymore? I feel like I haven't seen a double-sided adhesive canvas in a hot minute, but look at that. It's just so gorgeous. I love like the watercolor and I really like how it's rendered as well. So there, at first glance, I see a lot, a lot of color blocking. So this will go by really fast. Like the background here in the hat or whatever is all color blocking. Um, and mostly in this area here is going to be the confetti. Wow, it's so cute. It's really pretty. And then here's the schematic on the diamond painting itself with those three ABs at the very end there. So let's take a look at the drill area. And the drill area seems very clear. I'm not seeing any issues as expected. I've done a few, a couple of craftably canvases in the past and I never had any issues with the drill area, like seeing any of the colors. And I've never had any issues with um, like the symbols or anything like that. So it is very clear as you can see. And oh, I just like this one a lot. I'm really, really glad that I had the opportunity to grab this one when I did because I am a big fan of her artwork. I actually have another Craftably from the same artist um, that I haven't shared with you guys on my channel. But I really, I don't know, I really, really like this one. I'm glad I got this one. Okay, so let's take a look at those ABs. Where are those ABs? Okay. So the ABs are in the second package of drills. And they do come pre bagged so you can know uh, that you don't have to pick them up. You can actually just... Um, Leave them in the baggies and work out of the baggies as you see fit. But here are the three ABs. So we have 62, which is like a light yellow. Then we have a light pink. And then we have a white or a cream beige, whatever you want to call it. But those are really pretty. Okay, I'm not going to take all of the drills out because I will fail at putting them back in. But here are the colors if you do want to take a look-see. And then let's take a look to see where those ABs go on here. So that uh, white color is O. So anywhere basically you see this very bright white, that is where those ABs are going to go. So along her fingers you'll see that AB down here in the watercolor, you'll see that AB as well as in this area here, you'll see that AB and down here. Okay, so then we'll have that light pink color, which is J. J, 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 J. So down here in this watercolor, you'll see that AB. Along here, you'll see some of that AB scattered throughout here pretty much and then the last color is is the check mark symbol which is that light it's not focusing is that light yellow so you're gonna see the check mark in the background here oh there's also some of that white ab here and here sorry so you'll see the check mark up here down here up here and also, also, oh, over here too. Seems like they're very conservative with their ABs, but again, like I've said in other videos, I don't really care about ABs or special drills. Like it's not a make or break to me. I just show them to you guys. So if you do care about AB placement, you know where they are when you do, when you are able to order this kit. But of course, since Craftably is closing, you're no longer able to order this specific kit. I think it sold out a while ago anyway. Um, but also, like, if you want to get updates on the closure, I recommend joining the Craftably Facebook group. And if you do want to get a Craftably kit after they actually close their doors, I recommend checking out some D-Stash groups on Facebook. 
I'm very disappointed to see that Craftably is closing, but it's totally understandable in today's economy. Um, so again, if you want to support them in any way, you can go join their Facebook group, send them some well wishes. If you want to see what they're up to next, I would say join the Facebook group. Um, but here is one of the last Craftably kits that I'll ever own, I guess. <laughs> sad, sad face. Um, but if you like diamond painting, you like diamond painting content, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos whenever I feel like it and make sure you hit that notification bell. Let me know down below um, if you're sad about Craftably closing, if you've had any experience with them, share your good experiences and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!